guys, Andrew Manika is the name and today I'm going to share with you the story of how I discovered that if a promoter reaches out to you, they need to send you their budget or deposit or something. It happened in 2012. Um, I was invited to perform in Uppington at a poetry event that this promoter, we'll call him Bombo Clat, had organized. So he invited myself, uh, two friends, and we drove up to, down to, I don't know, we drove to Uppington. And uh, already Uppington should have been the first red flag because the only thing I knew about the place is that this is where South Africa wants to have their nuclear power project. What do I need going near a nuke? But anyway, we arrive in the city and uh, we head to the venue. The venue was a club called Fantasy. The name was sarcastic because there was nothing fantastic about this place, all right? It was more like Club Nightmare because we get there and the place is empty. The only six people there include three performers, that's us, the promoter, and the owner and his girlfriend. So we decided, the promoter decided that he was going to have the genius idea that we should come back in the evening so that we could do this whilst people are clubbing. Because as we all know, nobody loves the club experience if there's not a little poetry sprinkled on top. Uh, so we, we came back to Club Nightmare uh, with Bombo Flat in the evening. And then uh, whilst people are mid twerk you know that moment when you know just before you hit the floor and the, yeah in that moment he grabs the mic he's like cut cut the music turn on the lights my people he thought it was the reincarnation of Nelson Mandela my people I have come with the poets from Jomek poets hit the floor so we hit the floor we wish we hadn't because we hit the floor and we performed poetry to booze from the audience who were also pretty boozed up. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Anyway, booze from the audience who were pretty boozed up. So we left the place uh, so that we could get some food before heading back the next day. Uh, we get to Pick and Pay, a supermarket whose name should tell you that all you need to do is get in there, pick something and pay for it. And we were window shopping. We were literally just looking and listening, waiting for this man to say that you guys can eat this and head out. That didn't work. We went to Checkers. We just checked out the food. That didn't work either. So while I'm going to a little restaurant, I'm using the term in the loosest possible way. And we had bunny chow for supper. The next morning, we headed out to Johannesburg. And now whenever Boom Clad sends me a message saying, hey, would you like to perform? I tell him simply, send your budget. Send your budget. He doesn't contact me that much. 